Dorset Downs and Cranbourne Chase is a soft chalk landscape of great natural beauty. It extends from Dorchester to Salisbury. Climate change is regarded as something slow and subtle that will affect future generations, but in truth, it is upon us already. In thinking about um, climate change and biodiversity, we can't know until we get there what conditions are going to be like in the future. What is the need? The need is to feed ourselves every day, three times a day, uh, on good, excellent, reasonably priced food. We'll be seeing, I guess, very much um, wetter winters and warm, milder winters than we've had in the past, drier summers and much hotter temperatures. And we'll see more extremes, so we'll see more flood events, particularly in the winter, of course, and that's going to make the floodplain of the rivers around here quite different to the way they used to be. You've got to be looking at crop rotation and so all your eggs aren't in one basket, so as to speak. Um, so spread your risk, spread your options. There simply isn't enough water to go around and I guess if there's more, if we have less water in the future in terms of rainfall then that's going to become even more of an issue. What are we going to do about phosphates? Phosphates are a much, much more serious uh, worry. Agriculture is going to have to find new ways of both sourcing nitrogen and sourcing a fuel to run the machinery. If we carry on consuming oil at the present rate, scientists predict that by 2080, our climate will resemble that of present-day Portugal. On the positive side, we could have a longer growing season. On the negative, droughts could be more frequent. The question is, what can we do to create a living landscape that is resilient to these changes? Natural England is working with environmentalists, farmers, planners, and businesses to answer this question we will be uh, more dependent on our immediate surroundings uh, and on, the, on our natural resources. I think we've got to be looking at our natural resources, we've got to be looking at wind power, we've got to be looking at solar power, uh, we've got to be looking at what's close to us, what's local to us. It's up to us in the end, there's a lot of things we can do to make these environments more resilient. So change is a natural part of life. The landscape that you can see behind me has been changing for millennia and humans have been enacting upon it for at least 10,000 years. The one ingredient that I think is vital as we try to adapt to changes in climate and um, rising energy prices and things like that is that agriculture continues to make money for the people who own the land. There's all sorts of possibilities, it just depends to what extent the climate does actually warm up. There are many natural solutions to the challenges we face. For example, wetlands can store winter rainfall that can then be used to water stock and crops in the summer. They store carbon in their peaty soils and they are a haven for wildlife. By working together, we can create a resilient landscape. <laughs>